previously on HomestyleWonder.com. And that's why I believe the DNA evidence had been tampered with. And that's when I tampered with the DNA evidence. The DNA evidence was gone. Did you find the DNA evidence? I'll have that DNA evidence on your desk by five. DNA evidence. <laughs> Attention! Your attention, please! After extensive investigation, I'm ready to release my findings. I first spoke with Marcipan. Well, it all started several weeks ago. I came home from my toga yoga class to find that my house had been broken into and the culprit had left behind some DNA evidence. What was it? Hair particles? Skin flakes? Blood crispies? No, it was a little test tube just full of green DNA evidence. Oh, just like in the movies. So I immediately took it to Bubs to be analyzed, and this is all I got back. Well, it all started a few weeks ago. I just got finished teaching my toga yoga class when old maid marzipan showed up. Hi, Bubs. Can you analyze this DNA evidence for me? Sure thing, but it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Not a problem. So, what did you find out when you analyzed it? Oh, that. Well, next thing I know, Strong Bad shows up. Hey, Bubs. One green apple snow cone, please. Coming right up. Oh, er, uh, blah. Here you go. One cough, cough, green apple snow cone. You served the DNA in a snow cone? And it sold like hot cake. Yeah, I bought the DNA snow cone. You knew it had the DNA evidence in it? Oh, well, yeah. I overheard that marcipan had some DNA evidence. And I figured I could use it to continue my genetic experiments on the cheek. So I sprung into action. Bubs keep one green app snook on the rocks. And keep it rusty. By the time I got home, it was all melted. So I put it in a glass on my desk and went downstairs to do one of my high-impact toga yoga videos. And that's the last I saw of it. You left it on your desk, eh? Yeah, I swung by Strong Bad's the other day. The old lady had me out looking for some kind of Dan evidence. Strong Bad, I'm wearing a hat and trench coat. Ooh, a tall, cool glass of Mountain Dwar. Don't mind if I do ah. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> oh, sorry to cheat. That stuff tasted like dua dua. So he wiped his face off with a gross towel, eh? You figured it out, Strong said. My cover is blown. I am actually damp towel man. And also his mild mannered alter ego, Dan Towelman. Coach Z, no one's ever heard of those people. Damp Towel Man is a superhero. He collects damp towels from across the galaxy. Moist molecules, a green stained damp towel. The rarest and most powerful kind. So I took the towel to work the next day to see if it could clean up microwave lasagna stains. Stupid DNA evidence. Where am I supposed to find evidence by 5 o'clock? But when I got back to my cart, it was gone. I suspect it was my nemesis, Dry Ragamuffin. Or his mild-mannered alter ego, Dreyfus Ragamuffin. Coach Z, you have a real sucky imagination. That I do, my boy, that I do. Though I did notice that Strong Bad had some muddy boots sitting under his cubicle, I didn't find that at all suspicious. First of all, those were not muddy. I'd been stomping around in pecan pie all morning. Marzipan's allergic to pecans, you know. So it was your DNA evidence. Uh, no, it was yours. What? Yeah, I was just swiping the change from Marzipan's couch cushions, and I must have accidentally dropped it. Man, I was this close to finding out if you're really part elephant or part hippo or something. I am not. Well, now I guess we'll never know for sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, the stairs in this building have been burned down by termites. So it looks like I'm gonna have to jump! Yes, the world will never 
know for sure. <laughs> oh, hi. You're not going to say anything, are you? Uh, these Easter pants are getting way too tight. <laughs>